Hi guys, so today I'm going to be showing you a video of my template I will be selling on my website at iufavors.com. Um, right now I have the template up. When you purchase it, this is how it's going to come up in Word. So I'm going to do um, a chip bag right now. I'm going to do one for my logo because I'm soon to do a pop-up shop. Stay tuned. Um, but right now I'm going to start. So right now I'm in Word. It's once you download it, this is how it's going to come up again. So the first thing I want to do, I don't know if you guys can see it. Let me see if I can zoom in. Now I'm zooming on the page then. I'm going to zoom in because I zoomed out so you can see the whole page. Right? So right here there's two white lines and those white lines are dividers where you're going to see right now so the first thing i'm going to do i'm going to go to insert i'm going to go to shapes and i'm going to click on the rectangle shape right and i'm going to draw it for the first for the first white line so i'm going to draw it right here is where the white line is i'm going to go all the way down to the bottom of the chip bag template and I'm gonna leave this white but you can change the color of your choice depending on what theme you're doing so once that done usually you can insert another shape but you what I do what I like to do I just right click I press copy and then I right click again and I put paste and what that is I'll put this on the opposite side so let me scroll up and you can see there's a little bit more room so for this temp for this paste one that I just rectangle that I just did you're just gonna move it over so it's covered all the blue template shape and now that we have these two done I'm gonna do another one so I'm gonna do insert shapes another one and I'm gonna fill in this one and this one is also gonna be white the reason why it's white I don't know it's just plain and simple but I'll show you guys um, how to do it since it's white is oh, let me move this up it's a little bit of blue right here so I'm gonna move this up so you can get rid of the border lines like you see all these border lines you could get rid of that so what you would do is you would click on it you will go to format right here and where it says shade outline you just click no outline for all of them click on them go to format shade outline no outline well for the middle one I'm gonna keep just for a reference purpose so I'm gonna press undo and then for this one, I'm gonna go no outline. And then when you do no outline, you can see where the blue is not, all like where the rectangle is not covering over because it's white. So I'm just gonna push it over a little bit more where it's covering it. And the same applies to this side. There's a little blue that I still see, so I'm gonna move it over a little bit. So now it's fully covered. Now that's fully covered, what I want to do is I want to insert my logo. So I'm going to go to insert. I'm going to click on picture and my logo is right here. Um, if you don't have an image um, that you already have download to your to your computer. Hold on, I'm just going to insert this so you guys see. It'll come up here, but you can't see it. So what you would do is click on position where it's the format button and you will click position in this one right here right so when that happens um what you can do is you can just click text wrap in which one that applies to you where it shows that it's not messing up everything so in this case it looked like it's it looked like it's the middle centered i want it middle centered but if you don't have, oh look, down here I still see a little bit of blue, so I'm gonna move it down. Right here I still see a little blue, so I'm gonna move this down a little bit. And right here as well, I'm gonna move it down. You don't wanna show the blue, cause once you print it, it will show. 
So right now that I have my logo in, I'm going to show you if you don't have if you don't have a picture or uh, something downloaded to your computer, how you get to it. So right now I am in Google, on Google, right? So I'm looking up, I was looking up like confetti borders. Like when you're doing chip bags, if you want a different, um, if you want to upload pictures, what you would do is you would right click, well you would click on it, you would right click, you would press save image as and you would put the um, save the picture as a name that you can find right so since in this case I already have it saved so I saved it as confetti so I'm gonna go back to word I'm gonna go to insert I'm gonna go to pictures and I'm gonna go to downloads and I save that image as confetti so it goes up confetti I'm gonna uh, still loading come on computer click on it and I'm gonna press insert right and again you have to press click on position and you gotta click it where it's right in front. In this case, we're gonna leave it in the middle center, but I'm gonna I'm gonna delete my logo so just so that you can see how you would do it, right? So if you have a border that's not transparent, with transparent meaning that um the there's no white background, it's just plain that you can insert onto it. You would just resize this to the box. That's why I wanted to keep the outline here. So I'm going to put it right here. I'm just going to move it over. And I'm going to bring it down to resize it. Format. Now I'm going to get rid of the outline in the back. So I'm going to put no outline so you're not going to see it now. And I'm going to insert my logo. And my insert is transparent. So it can go right on top of the border that I put in. And I'm going to move it down so you guys can see it. Let me resize it. So to resize it so you don't lose it, you will press shift, hold shift down, and then you just close it where it's smaller. And just bring it up a little bit more. So it's even and a little bit more. Yeah, that looks that looks all right. Um now that that is done, um you will want a text um a uh, nutritional facts usually is on this on on your chip bag so um, again you will go to Google you would type in nutritional background oh no not background sorry nutritional label nutrition label right um, and depending on what you want to do, you can make sure it's, um, make sure you put either SVG or PNG or JPEG, JPEG, cause that's, um, when you put that in the Google, it'll come up transparent where all you have to do is, um, all you have to do is, uh, Put it right on and it won't affect so if you see how this they have blue and white is blue and white in this background right here 
Oh, it's a little blurry. There it goes. So right here, there's some blue. You can see like um like a background with like a light blue, which grayish white. And you will click on it, right click, save image as, and then you will put nutritional facts, right? This case, I already have one in here. So I will put insert picture. I'm going to go to downloads. And I am going to click on, I'm going to type nutrition. Oh, look, it comes up already. So for this case, I'm going to put... Do, 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 this one nutrition facts for love i'd usually depend on the late the ones that i find i find um this one is for love and for this video i'm gonna put it right in so i'm gonna put it right here oh everything went down hold on in front of text right so then it doesn't mess anything up i'm gonna move it over and I'm gonna resize it. I'm gonna press shift down. And I'm going to make it smaller. A cold shift now as you're moving it smaller. And I want it to go here. And because it's still too big, I just wanted you to see. I'm going to hold shift again and make it a little bit more smaller. Um yeah, right there. And it fits perfect. Nutrition Facts for Love. It says, serving size, one will and heart. Serving per person, unlimited. And it says, patience, kindness, envy, um, boastfulness, pride, selfishness, anger, recording of wrong, delightfulness and evil, truthful, rejoicing, protecting trust, hope, preserve, uh, perseverance, and failure. Um, all depend on what theme trip back you're trying to do you can just search in nutrition facts and then put in the theme that you're looking for and then you should be able to find it just remember that you put in svg png or jpeg to to make sure that it has no nothing in the background especially if you have a color i have white so it really doesn't matter but if you have like a dark color as your 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 rectangle that you put on um, the back, it'll you it'll 